That was a run for Hernandez. You hear me? Mm. You're looking to slug. And with them big wild one coming back, it's not going to work. Yep. Smart. Are you listening to me again? I'm listening. Okay, show me then. Step with the jab. Bob, step with the jab. Keep your hands up. Yeah. Let him work. Watch him. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah. Hernandez has turned it round on your card now, two. Barry. So, yeah, he has. He had, some, he had a few rocky two. moments himself in that round, John. But I think he also hurt Ross for what I think was the, the first time in the fight. What a good fight. These cruiserweight title fights that we bring you from Germany have served up something special, and this is another terrific scrap. Hernandez never seems to have a dull fight. No, well, we felt this was going to be a good fight, but we felt it was going to be a fight where we saw Hernandez shine. But it's been a really cracking 50-50 fight. Ross's corner telling him not to slug it out with Hernandez. Moments when he's really looked as though he's going to win the fight, and when yes. he has slugged it out. That's him. right, yeah, you think you know, that. Get Hernandez into the brawl, that's when he's got his greatest opportunity, it would well, seem. Yeah, you know, you're spot on, John. Hernandez is a loose puncher, so he's like a languid puncher, so his punches take longer to get there. Whereas Ross is a short, stocky guy, his punches get there closer, so quicker. So you want to be in a, you want to be in a dog fight with Hernandez because you're going to be getting there quicker than, than he is. And that's and like you said, when they've been swinging away, Ross has been having the better of the exchanges. On our card, Hernandez is now back in front, despite being so close to defeat in the fifth. Hernandez, let me remind you, the Cuban in the red shorts, the defending IBF cruiserweight champion. That's no knockdown, just a slip. He's, he's punching to the chest, though, isn't he, uh, Ross, with that jab? And that, I think that's to lower the guard of Hernandez so he can fire that left hand over the top. So they've obviously had a tactic they've worked on, John, yep. and it's been effective. Yeah, they've worked him out, they've looked at him, they've studied him and realised that he can be vulnerable to those headshots, and so it's proved. Nice sneak light hand, right hand lead around the guard. Yeah, he, he sort of feints with the jab and then comes on with the hook, doesn't he? And yep. it's, uh, he's been quite successful with that. Not a lot from the Cubans so far in this round until now. Good right hand. Yeah, just caught Ross a little bit off balance. But again, Hernandez hasn't done enough work, has he, so far in this round, John? 30 seconds could be crucial. Much quieter round after the fireworks of round nine. Watch your feet, watch your feet. Ross trying to box his way in. And he's done a pretty good job of parrying most that's come his way from Hernandez. Oh, that's a big right hand from Ross. He's not afraid of confidence. Every time he gets caught with a shot, he's always looking to throw his own back. Close around this one. Yes, John is. I think that was Ross's round for me. I think he started it off better. In which case, back level with two rounds to go. So you good must stuff. A couple of the rounds have been close. That could have an important bearing, that last round being one of them. Yes. I just think Hernandez switched off a little bit, didn't he? And I don't understand why, because he had a very, very good ninth round. I think you probably gave your own answer during your commentary on that previous round when you said that both of them were all in, they'd punched themselves out. Yeah, maybe. I think, it was, I think he was gassing. Well, it's been a hard fight, hasn't it, John? You know, they've, got, they've, all a lot of, they've thrown a lot of punches for big fellas, and they've thrown everything into those punches. Afalabi hook was a cracker. Hernandez Ross is turning out to be another one. Good shot again with that. A hook. Wherever you may be watching this one, pays your money, takes your choice, you'll have your own idea about how it is unfolding. So far as we're concerned, the last six minutes are going to decide it. Now, for me, this is where Hernandez has to be really smart, John. Keep the hands nice and high. Work behind that jab, as I've been saying all night. Don't take any risks, and then when Ross comes in for the 
for the counters, slide back and come through with that, that backhand, that left hand. And Ross needs to faint his way in, I think. That double jab has worked for him, but he needs to faint his way in and then come in with that double jab, left hand over the top. Body shot did get through from Ross, and the left around the guard. Challenger doing well in the early stages of this 11th. Ross's face is the more marked up of the two. Largely courtesy of Hernandez's jab when he decided to get back to his boxing skills. Yeah. I, I'm, I am still really confused though. Ross is catching Hernandez with a lead hook. You know, as clever as Hernandez is and the reach advantage he has, this punch he shouldn't get, be getting caught with. It's not, that it, it's not there, it's a prime example. It's not just once. It's the third time they slipped in the middle of that uh, the ring. As Ross. Under his boots or the ring surface, a little bit slippery. The performer rather than the latter. And just as you were talking about that lead hook, he, he produced one. But again, John, Hernandez is not doing enough work, is he? He's stalking. Well, neither guy's throwing lots of punches, but for me, Ross is, is making the fight. He's thrown a little bit more, the challenger so far, in the 11th. It's close rounds, which could prove to be the contentious ones. You don't really need me to really tell you how things can go when it goes down to the judges' cards. So Hernandez throwing lots of punches, John, but not actually landing with any. I think Hernandez has barely had a scoring shot in this round. Yeah, he's um, as close as a fight that this is, and he must feel it's a close fight. These last two rounds are going to be critical. Oh, good shot from Ross. Lead off from Hernandez, and then Ross landed a real big left hand. Hernandez is just about all in. But he, Hernandez is throwing that overhand left when he clearly needs to be throwing a straight left. He's shortening the distance and giving Ross the opportunity to come forward. I tell you what, Barry, I find it very hard there to see how the judges yeah, could give that round that to Hernandez. No, no, they don't. It's a Ross round all day long. Yeah, baby. Come on. Magnus! See your boxing. Where are you doing? Uli Wegner knows. He's trying to um, rally him up. Okay, this is the last one. Yeah. Keep your hands up, short. Okay? Yeah. We'll take it. Take it, yeah. short. We'll take hands it. up and fucking take this. Yeah. Okay? Keep your hands up, tight. Okay? Stay in the back. Let's keep it tight. Yeah. You hearing your cousin? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Don't go swinging. Are you catching it short? Last round. An excellent fight it's been was the music Troy Ross walked to the ring by. A change is going to come. Is it going to prove to be prescient? Is that what's going to happen? Or will the judges see it the way of Hernandez these last three minutes could determine it? Well, for me, John Hernandez has to come out, come out sharp. If he loses this round, for me, he's lost the fight. Heard what Ross's corner was saying. Keep it short. No big swings, leaving him vulnerable. The Sani Pass, Lesotho, one of the most treacherous mountain ranges on earth. It's no place for second chances. With voice control and Bluetooth, you can focus on what's ahead without taking your hands off the wheel. And with seamless two to four wheel shift on the fly, I'm Lucy. This is the Cheerios campaign headquarters. We want mums to know kids love Cheerios. And you just hear that word, cancer. You can't take it in. Wants to hold on, trying to give himself a bit of space. Ross will have none of it. That's better from the Cuban. Yeah, good fight back out. Needs more of it. 
is the championship going to go to the man from Toronto, Canada? Will he be the IBF title holder? Hernandez looks dog tired. Yeah, they both work incredibly hard, haven't they, John, in there, throwing a lot of punches. There's a good right hand inside from Hernandez before this untidy ball. This minute now can literally decide the fight. Nice little sneak left there from Hernandez. You wouldn't have put a lot of money on it going the distance in that fifth round when Hernandez looked as though he was one punch away from being knocked out. But now it looks as though it is going to go to the judges' cards. Last 30 seconds. And you wouldn't have thought it would be this close a fight with you, John. Absolutely not. Hernandez, if you're going to be critical of him, by his own standards, he's produced an extremely flawed performance. Ross has produced the fight of his life. Big left hand from the Canadian. That's no knockdown. He was hurt, but it was the arm lock that propelled him to the ground. Hernandez raises his arm. As Miami... Florida wertet den Kampf 114 zu 113. 114, 130. Mickey Van aus Leeds, England, wertet den Kampf 115 zu 112. 115, 112. Und Benny de Groß aus Evergen, Belgien, wertet den Kampf 116 zu 112. 116, 112. All three for the winner. Alle drei einstimmig für den Sieger dieses Gefechts. Und weiterhin Weltmeister im Cruiserweight still, IBF Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Johan Pablo Hernandez. Lucky boy. He gets the judge's verdict by one round.